Hello, my name is Jeremiah Garner. This is uh, FTT 104, week four, assignment one. So there's no live ammo on my desk. Today's date is February 11th, 2024. So, um, sorry. <laughs> I, I kept trying to film this, but I couldn't get my phone to work, so I'm, I'm aggravated, but uh, it should work now. We should be good to go. So the tools I'll be using for this is a little pick, punch, and a punch block. I have a couple magnetic plates. I have two of them so I can separate the parts from the slide and uh, keep them separated from the parts from the frame and everything. I do have on standby a little brass hammer and a pair of pliers for whatever. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go ahead and safety check the Glock real quick. Nothing in there, nothing's in there. So we are going to separate the slide from the frame and we're gonna start with the slide today. It's a whole lot easier. <laughs> we're gonna remove the recoil lug and the barrel. So this next part, we're gonna take this little pick. So this little silver thing right here and that little hole right under it is a black little plunger and it's spring loaded. So you're gonna take this pick and push it down. And while you're doing that, this back plate, you're gonna slowly push it off. When you're pushing it off, there's spring loaded stuff back here. So you have to keep your thumb perfectly like aligned with the entire thing to get it off and uh, not have things flying all over the room. So that's what we're gonna do. By the way, it's this part right here in this corner you have to worry about. Pushing that down, back plate coming off. Back plate, little silver plunger right there is what you always gotta worry about. I should just come out, come here. Well, no, never mind. you gotta take this one out first. Now it should just come on out. That's the one that always goes flying. So there's a black little plunger, or excuse me, silver right there. And you wanna push that down all the way. And when you push it down all the way, your extractor comes out. This is also spring loaded, clearly, so. And that is the slide completely broken down. Who you got for the Super Bowl today? I'm a Packers fan, so I'm just, sad in general but um i'm going for the 49ers i like the chiefs but you know so with the frame there is three little um let me go ahead and push that sorry three little pins we're gonna focus on this top one right here now this top one and this back one are really easy these two over here are metal. This one's plastic, so you can kind of tell. The top one is really easy. It just pushes through. Like, there's hardly anything keeping it there. There is a recessed part in the pen that, you know, you can kind of tell, but it's not too heavy. It's not too heavily recessed. And the only thing that really holds that in is the spring from your little... Um, slide catch here or slide release whatever you want to call it so this is the part that always aggravates me it might take me a minute to get it this uh, pin right here um, this pin it's metal it goes through many many different things and components and different parts because of that over time it can be problematic and also has some heavy recesses in it as well and grooves that things fall into place in and you have to kind of wiggle things around, especially the slide catch to get it out. Um, for any of you watching this, trying to learn how to do this, it, it takes a second. You have to be kind of patient. Use a punch block because you have to wiggle things around and this punch is coming out. So, might take me a second and I might stop talking, but we'll get it done here shortly, hopefully. Part of me wonders if I just do that, what will happen? There we go.
there we go. So slide release comes out. There's a hole that it goes through. It goes through multiple different things. Here is the pin. You can tell it has, excuse me, some heavy recesses in there that things get caught in and seized up in. Why did I put you over there? Come back. There you go. So uh, the next thing is this back pin. This back pin's plastic. Well, it's polymer, and you have to be a little bit more gentle with it. There's not a whole lot of force uh, happening back there, so they can get away with using a plastic part right there. Um, you know, still don't go cranking or abusing on it. And then um, I'm going to use this punch for this part right here and use it to kind of pry it up. There we go. So that part right there. So that pin that's really difficult, it's going through two holes in the slide, two holes on this big piece of, uh, that's pretty thick right there, two holes on that. So that's four right there and this makes five. So that's why it gets seized up so easily. The trigger group should just come on out and that is fully broken down on the slide. So we're gonna put it back together real quick going the same exact way in reverse. There we go. And we're going to put the pin, this little plastic one in the back. There's not a recess or anything on it. It just goes in there and whatnot. So it's always the tricky part, right? I'll show you a trick that I've learned over the years. Put that in there like so. Make sure you get it, your slide catch in that recess in there. You see the spring right there where it's at? You want to try and get all of that perfectly lined up. You might have to kind of push it around and so forth and make sure it's perfectly aligned. Do not go through this way. It came out this way. It comes back in this way. That's what I've learned. Also, you have to put this in there. So... You have to put that in there before you can put the slide and catch in there, so my bad. This slides right in that recess, like I told you, with this part in. <coughs> and we are going to, the way it comes out, so the way it comes back in. It's the easiest way. And there we, there we go. Wow. Actually went in really easy. So, you want to listen for that recess. Push it in just enough. Did you hear it? That's how you know it's in place. Perfectly in place. And what that is, is the uh, hole on that slide, slide, slide catch, excuse me, um, kind of popping into that recess. That's what that is. This next pin, it was easier last time than it's going to be this time. The reason being is that spring that's sticking up. You can, you can bear it, that little thing right there that's shining right next to my finger. That's the end of the spring. That needs to fall underneath this. So we're gonna take the pick. The way it comes out is the way it comes back in. Start pushing it in there. And before it can pass that spring, that spring needs to be pushed underneath it. For the love of God, get underneath it. I can't wait to be done with school. I'm ready to just start gunsmithing. I enjoy this work a lot more than I enjoy school work. That's for sure. Okay. And the spring is now underneath this top pin and it is all put back together. Let me check. Yep. All right, cool. So now we're gonna put the slide back together. I like putting, I like messing with the slide a lot more than the frame. I don't know why, I just enjoy it more. So we're gonna take this little plunger and put it in the hole. Same thing with this extractor. You have to push the silver part right there down all the way. And then this little part of the extractor that's round is gonna go in there and it should just fall into place. But you have to push the extractor all the way down to get it to go in. And then it's, under spring pressure right there to stay there. So take this spring first going into the hole. 
this part coming in. All right, now we are going to put the back plate on, start sliding it on. We're gonna use our handy dandy punch, the bigger side to get the, you know, you could, I guess, use the small one to push the edge of it in, but it's a plastic part, it's a polymer part. I don't know if I would do that, just use the bigger end of it. Push it down, push the plate in. Now that metal, or that metal part right there, the spring loaded, you're gonna push that in very carefully, very carefully. Push the plate up, there you go. And it should snap into place. And that is fully back together. Put the slide in. I'll go ahead and show you I'm not. <laughs> Does that look right? Hmm. Huh. Put the barrel in the right freaking way and then you can put your uh, recoil spring back in there. <laughs> I'm ready to watch some football. I've been working on assignments all day. It's finals week for three classes I'm taking. Two is full time, I'm taking three, just so y'all know. I'm tired, We're, I'm a construction guy too, so please. <laughs> there we go, that's it. That is fully ready to go. A functions check on it, we're gonna check it. Looks good to go. Pointing in a safe direction. All right, yep, function's good. So that is the end of this video. And um, thank you to my instructor for working on with me with all my grades and everything. I hope you guys have a great day and God bless you. Bye.